Hey everybody, this is Mike from Accounting for Cycling. Uh, today we're back with the Epson Epic Vision Flex CO-FH02 uh, Full HD 3 LCD uh, standard lamp projector. Um, so you can, uh, it's on like, it's non-ego dynamic. Um, I tried to get this in my Epson, I forget what it's called, but it's one of their laser projectors. I think it's like the H10 or 11 or something. We'll look it up in just a second. Uh, so I have both of them running right now. Uh, they're pretty evenly distanced from the wall that it's projecting on. Um, I do have my uh, thermal curtain closed because it is actually sunny here uh, this February and uh, this massive window lets in a lot of heat. So, and that's, you can still see there's a decent amount of light coming in from downstairs, um, but also I'll be turning the lights on, adjusting a few things in the room itself to kind of run these through a couple of different, different modes. So we'll go pretty close here to where the heat's coming out. You can see the lamps hiding back there. We'll walk over here. This is the laser projector. Um, also has a little bit of a vent there. It's a much smaller projector. Uh, both of them though are fixed lenses. You can only really adjust the focus um, on either of them. Uh, all of the zoom is digital and since they are both Epson we can use one remote for both. Uh, what that also means, too, is we can't just use this AV mute, uh, which also, if you do that, you can see there's still projection up on the wall because all it does is, at least with the lamp-based one, so it doesn't have to cool down, rewarm the lamp back up, uh, it just kind of goes to a black screen. So we'll bring those back. The laser one actually turns completely off, which is really nice. Uh, makes it a little more energy efficient, too. But, kind of do a little bit of an older way. Um, I've got just what I've turned into a shop rag here. You can see some nice chain grease still on it. That stuff never comes out in the wash. Um, and so we will actually just be covering whichever projector we don't want running. Uh, that way there's no interference between any AV mute that may happen. And so we don't mute both of them. So I have actually the unboxing video of this to use as a test subject. And the laser projector here, you can see is hooked up through HDMI. That runs all the way over into kind of my workshop area and is plugged into my desktop PC. So the first one we'll test out is the one that's on the video. So we'll do this excellent work here and kind of double it up so it doesn't shine through and see I'm checking out the plane. Epson CO-FH02 real cool uh, fancy name there so you can see and the colors on the box look pretty LCD good projector um, with Android TV built in see if I can so I've already, uh, just the picture a little bit mostly, uh, so my PII isn't showing off the top so you can see uh, it's that, I actually have volume turned on. Anything else? Well, first off, you can see there's a nice eco patching. Turn that down just a little bit here. Uh, the speaker's pretty impressive on the CO FH02. But we'll go right here so we've got highlight output. This is an eco. See, it's ever so slightly different. Um, eco mode. The fan is just slightly quieter. But when you actually have noise on, it's not not too different. Um, I actually run it on low pretty much all the time, even when there's direct light coming into the room. Which. will 
go back here and kind of cycle through. We've got dynamic. It's ever, ever so slightly a little bit brighter. Um, I kind of like the vivid on this one for the coloring. Um, cinema, which is going to be a little bit darker. And then natural. Yeah, not really a huge difference. Um, but you can see on the edges here, it doesn't quite fill the wall. Um, it is at an angle, so of course some of the edges here are going to be a little bit off due to the keystone corrections. Um, but now, what we'll do, actually put this back to dynamic. Pause this, and we'll take the same double cover. There we are, and now this is the laser projector. Um, looks like we may have, yep, kind of accidentally gotten into a uh, menu here. So you can see it's in dynamic. Light output is at 100%. So it's going to be the very much the same as the high output uh, plus the same setting here. And we'll hit play. That's actually coming off the monitor over there, but you can see this one fills a little bit bigger into the wall, a little more, uh, it has a shorter throw to it, so it can go up to 150 inches a little bit quicker. Pull this up, and you can see we can even go a little bit wider, but then the TV down here cuts into it. Um, as you can see, this is my main setup for indoor bike training here. Um, this is actually kind of the POV of what I see um, in the pain cave. And we'll do the same thing here of cycling through the different modes. So this one has vivid, bright cinema, cinema, and natural. Back onto dynamic here, um, and kind of this one you have a it just goes eco high, um, so you don't really have too much of a difference in change here. Um, I don't normally have it on high except when it's a little bit brighter. So. that. Go back on the menu here. Pause. Then again we'll... <laughs> you can see the lamp projector definitely has... Uh, puts off, I believe it's 4,000 lumens. This one right here I, th I think is a thousand. Might be higher than that. Um, but yeah, either way, in most room situations, it's pretty easy to to check out and see the see the difference between. All right, we're back to both of both these here, and I'm going to put our cover onto the laser projector, and so now we've just got the bulb three LCD that's in. Uh, the really nice one with this is it, yeah, it's a multimedia projector and it has the built-in, sort of built-in, you, know, you get the Epson streaming stick with it. So that's a nice feature to have, uh, especially for something you can just kind of pick up, grab, drop off, shoot onto a wall or a portable screen and you've got everything all in one. So, pull this back up. And now, I will actually use my mini stream deck here. We'll go bright lights. So we've got that. Again, this is off. On. 
and I'm slowly turning the brightness down. You can see there's a lamp right there. And obviously as it gets darker, the picture gets a little bit crisper, brighter, um, just easier to see. Now if we go all the way back up, yeah, it's still very easy to see. All right, so we've got bright. Drop the other one. So, let's see, here's the laser projector again. Lights off. Lights on. I'll pause here for a moment. All right, so now this is still the laser projector with, um, it's, I think, a nine-foot-tall window uh, with direct sunlight coming in. And, yeah, with the lights still set to bright, it's a little hard to see. Turn the lights off. You can still see it. Um, I'll play here. So you can still definitely make out what's on the screen, especially in lighter images, lighter environments. So that, and then we will switch this over. And here we are back at the Epic Vision Flex. So, even a pretty similar scene here, too, and you can see window still wide open. Um, just kind of doing this whole thing uncut for just everybody to be able to make their own judgments on the image quality. Turn the lights back to bright. Lights off. Lights on. Lights off. Uh, so, it makes it a little bit easier to see in the kind of really bright environments and since our focus here is the CH0 or yeah CHF02 we'll kind of stick with it on this we'll go you can see in the upper left low power eco high low again high you can kind of hear that disclaimer there. I did receive this as a member of Best Buy's Tech Insider Network, a program where, as a member, I receive products uh, in order to provide unbiased reviews for Best Buy's website, and then also occasionally their partners. Um, actually, same thing with this projector. I received it back in 2019, uh, at the end of 2019, and it's it's been a I don't know. It sees a lot of good use. You can see it's dusty, too. Um, overall, though, uh, I would say if you're going to go out and buy one of these, I would go with the Epic Vision Flex COFH02. There's a slightly very similar model number that's actually a 720p projector. You don't want that one. Uh, I think it's like $400, $450. Uh, so a pretty decent cost savings, but you're not going to be able to get the the full HD picture quality out of it. Here we are. So just kind of check this one out. This is the Epson EF11. Um, it is a very small compact laser projector. It doesn't need all the room that this one needs for heat dissipation off an actual bulb lamp. Both are three LCD for their, their actual display, uh, but the lamp is different. So the laser hidden away in there. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, hopefully it was able to answer some questions uh, as a follow-up from the previous review, the one that we used as our example here. Um, yeah, leave uh, your questions, comments, anything down in the comments. And thank you for watching this video.